In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to produce randomly generating art uses the Canvas API and JavaScript inside your web browser. It's actually a fantastic beginner project to have inside your portfolio. And if you ask me, it actually looks pretty cool. So as always, let's get coding. First of all, we need to set up our HTML file. So I've got somewhere to print the canvas. Uh, I'm just going to use a template and I'm going to call that random canvas just so I know what this is. And we need to set up the canvas itself. Uh, I'm going to give it the ID ID of a random canvas, which I'll use later. And we'll give it a width of 800 and a height of 600. And you can set these to whatever you want to make that canvas as big or as small as you like. And the other thing we need to do is get our JavaScript file. We'll do source. And I already have an empty file set up under canvas. I'm going to attach it there. So currently this won't be doing anything, but that's literally all you need to do to get this running. So we'll move over to the JavaScript and this is where all the heavy lifting gets done. And initially you won't see anything being drawn, but we'll work through this and then I'll show you in the live server later what's actually going on. So first of all, we need a couple of cons. One is going to be the canvas, which we'll link back to our HTML document, get it by ID. And we call that random canvas. So you're just using there, whatever you used for yours. And the other one we need is to set the context, which is how we go about drawing uh, the canvas itself. So canvas.get context and here we define what sort of canvas we want and in our case we're going to use 2d because we want two-dimensional drawings setting this 2d context actually allows us to access a bunch of methods and properties so we can manipulate 2d graphics so next we're going to build a function to give us some random numbers because we want some randomness in this canvas so i'm going to put get random i'm going to call it random integer I'm going to bring in a min and a max, and I'll explain exactly what's going on here in a minute. We're going to return math.floor and math.random. This should probably look pretty familiar to some of you. And we're going to do the max minus the min plus one. And then I want to do plus, plus get my keyboard, plus min for that as well. So this function actually generates a random number between the minimum and maximum that we use. And the way this is set up with the end, the max minus the min plus one and adding the minimum back on actually scales a rounded number back up to fit within the range that we actually set between that maximum min in the first place. And then that gets returned and we can use that elsewhere. And now we're gonna use this random number generator to actually build some things such as colors, some random colors for our canvas. So first we're gonna create a function called get random color. And I'm going to put a const in there and colors are made up of RGB. We're going to use that scale. So I'm going to equals R and get random, get random integer, which is the one we created up here. And we need to pass it a minimum and a maximum number. So I'm going to pass it zero and 255 for the full range of colors. Now we need to repeat that for the G and the B. So I'm going to copy and paste them and change this to G and change this one to B. And that will give us our full range of colors. And then we want to return all that. And we want to return all that as an RGB number that we can use. So we're going to put that inside backticks. And I'm going to have the word essentially RGB. And inside the brackets, which would normally be for our coloring, we're going to bring back the R. And then there needs to be a comma. And we're going to bring back the G. The ran this is the, the random values, I should say. And then we're going to bring back the B. So as an example of what might return from that, I'll put some comments here. It should be returning like RGB 0, 45, 255, which would print a random color. That's essentially what that function is doing. And next up, we need to create our shapes and we want random size shapes in random positions on the canvas. So we're going to use our random numbers again to do this. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a function to randomly place these shapes in different sizes and places on the canvas. And for example, we're going to do a function. We might do draw random shape. And first of all, we need the cons for X where it appears on the X axis. And we want to get one of our random numbers. And what we want to pass in as our min and our max, we want to pass in zero, but as the max, we're going to pass in canvas.width, which is the width that you have said the canvas should be. So it won't go outside that range. And we're going to do the same thing for the Y axis, get another random number. We go zero, but what do you think we do this time? That's right, we do canvas height. And this gives us our X and our Y placement, but randomly. Now for the size of our shapes, we're going to do const and we're going to call that width, which equals get 
random integer and we're going to do 20 comma 100 now you can set these values to whatever you want now this just determines the actual height and width of each shape randomly so you can make them bigger or smaller and the height of each shape same thing again getting random values between 20 and 100 the only reason i use 20 and 100 is because they seem to produce nice looking shapes but you can change that to whatever you like all right now we need to decide what sort of colors and how we're going to fill these shapes when they are printed and we're going to write this out and then i'll explain to you what's going on here so i'm going to do fill style equals get random color using our ctx up here the con our context abbreviation up here to get context this fill style actually specifies um, when shapes are drawn on the canvas what kind of colors gradients or patterns should be applied to them when this happens and so when doing that we're using get random color which runs this function up here and it's actually pulling a random color for each of those shapes and telling it when you print this shape i want you to fill it with this random color and that's exactly what's going on here so, so far we've generated where we want to place the shapes, the size of the shapes and the colors we want to put in there. But now we actually have to generate the shapes themselves. So first of all, we need to set a const, we do a const shape, and I'm going to set that to our random number generator function. And I'm going to set that to one and three. And that's because we're going to be working with three different shapes today. And I want it to randomly pick one of them when it goes through all these other functions and colors it and places it. You could have four shapes, you could have 10, you could have whatever you want. So you can go through the canvas function yourself and add more if you'd like to, but this will give you an idea of how that works. So now that we're randomly generating our shapes, we're gonna do if shape equals one. And in this case, we wanna print a rectangle. So we're gonna do CTX, that's how const we, the context we set up here. We're gonna do that fill rect for rectangle X comma Y. These are our ones that we randomly generated here width and height and so what that's doing is all the random placements and heights and widths we've done here will determine our rectangle here and it will be filled with whatever the random color is that's selected by a random color generator but then we want else if shape equals two because this will be our ellipse now now i'm going to write this one out and then i'll explain what's going on here afterwards because there's a few steps uh, we want begin path and then we want CTX ellipse. And ellipse actually has a few extra steps when you're actually printing this out. So we've got the X and the Y, and we've got the width divided by two and the height divided by two. And the reason they divide by two is it actually tells it where the center of the circle is. So you can place it on the center at the time. That's what that's for. And zero, zero, and we've got math.pi times all right so what's actually happening with that one i mentioned these were the center of the circle we've got our x and our y which are randomly selected here which where where it goes on the uh, the canvas itself these numbers here are saying that we don't want any rotation to happen to this object uh, we want it to start at zero radians to start right at the start of that circle and maths.py times two that actually draws a complete circle but because we've determined the height and the width here randomly it's going to draw a circle but like squash it down and expand it in different directions and that's how we get the ellipse out of this uh, and then we need else if uh, shape because remember we had three shapes here equals three we go down and we're going to draw ourselves a circle, which in path again, and the circle is drawn with the context of arc. And it, again, it needs an X and a Y. It's very similar. It's going to be the width divided by two. So we can line up the center of that circle when we draw it. Uh, but we don't set a height for this because we're not actually trying to squash it. It's the same dimensions all the way around no rotation and maths.py times two to actually draw that circle and that should be working i forgot to mention before too about begin path what it's saying to the canvas is i'm about to start drawing a new object and i don't want it to be impacted by anything that's come before this i want to start a new path and i want to start it with an arc or i want to start a new path and it's going to be an ellipse it just won't be affected by anything that came before that Okay, so basically what we've got now, we've got our random number generator to generate all our random numbers in the ranges that we set. We've got our random color generator, which uses the random number generator. We've got this draw random shape function, which is going through and setting an X and Y coordinate randomly from our canvas width and height. Uh, it's generating the width and height of each shape in a range that we want. You can change these coordinates around or whatever you like. Uh, it's getting this random color from here and using that 
as the fill style to fill whatever that shape is. And it's deciding on a random shape um, from three different ones. We've decided a rectangle, an ellipse, or a circle here. And each time it runs through and fills all that out and then goes back to the start again and goes over and over. But I've just realized what is missing here that we need is actually to create that loop so that it runs over and over. So we just need one last const and it's going to be, we're going to call that num shapes and we'll make that equal to 100. You can make that equal to whatever you want. That's the number of shapes that we'll print on the screen. 100 just looks pretty good in this space. For let uh, i equals zero, i is less than num shapes, uh, i plus plus. And we, the reason it's less than num shapes, it's basically it's going to keep running until it runs out of what we've set here. And what do we want it to do in here? We want it to run this draw random shape function. So draw random shape. And all right, beautiful. So basically it's going to run through this loop, draw a shape, run again, draw a shape, color it in, do all those things over and over again. Okay, now I'm just going to click over to my live server preview, see if we get this thing running. Boom, there we go. Now if I just refresh that, look at that. Now I'll go to a full screen just so you can see that better. So what I've got here, this is our 800 by 600 canvas generating. Now if I go back into the code, I'll show you what I'm changing here. I'm going to go to the HTML. I'm going to change this to, let's say, I don't know, 1920. That's the slowest way I could have done that. <laughs> what are you typing, buddy? 1920 to 1080 there. Go back to the live server view again. And now you can see it's actually taking up the entire screen. But it's spread the shapes out because there's more room for them to randomly be generated across that screen. Um, we'll go back in there again. I'm going to change them back to what they were. And I'm going to show you the preview here that has both on there. Oh, boom. There it is. All right. So now what I'm going to do is if I take this num shapes down here, we change that to 20. We save it. Less shapes. So if I refresh that, refresh that, we only get 20 shapes on this window now. Now, if I go back into the code again, I'm going to change this back to 100 just so you can see what's going on. And I'm going to get these random shape numbers here. We've said we want it between 20 and 100 for the height and the width. If I make that 100 and 200, for instance, I'll change that for both of them. And save that. Now you can see it's actually, it can make those shapes between 100 and 200 pixels so they take up more space. And, but it still randomly generates. It actually makes them. You can make some pretty cool artwork with this. It's probably how some people pumped out a bunch of NFTs at one stage. So that's the code. That's everything you need to get going on that project. And it's a really cool one because you could use that to randomly generate backgrounds. You could use it to randomly generate, you know, artwork for people. There's probably lots of fun things you can do with this. And be sure to look up the canvas function and find lots of other shapes and ways that you can manipulate this to um, have colors and shapes that you want and do some cool stuff with it. But if nothing else, it's a great portfolio project to show that you understand how to draw graphics on the screen. And I actually don't see many people using that. So that's actually a really cool thing to do. Uh, if you got some value from this video, be sure to like and subscribe, click the little bell, get some notifications, and I'll have some more tutorials for you soon. Peace out.